Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and one thing that uh, I would like to mention that's been brought to my attention is I don't have the ratios for these guys quite correct. I do need to add more steam production here because I am um, basically I've been gluing together four square thingies, um, whereas when they have an adjacent um, power plant on the side, it actually increases their power output. At the moment, I'm not terribly worried because we're producing enough uh, electricity. So this is not an issue. Uh, one thing that I would like to mention, a couple of people have said to me uh, in various ways, uh, in, in comments and stuff, that I should have a an extra bank of either accumulators or of steam tanks and then extra engines or turbines to take advantage of that and to smooth out the power spikes. Uh, see how it's jumping up and down. Uh, and sometimes, well, before we increase power, it was jumping uh, past our capacity to make power. Now, the reason I don't do this is because for the same reason I don't like other buffer systems is that I saw that power jumping and my uh, my machines weren't working well. You know, you you look at a uh, an assembler or a factory like, you know, this one, it was like, oh, getting brownouts or getting to have yellow electricity bar. And if you have a smoothing out thing and you have all of this buildup, say, in a bank of accumulators or the steam tanks or whatever, what's going to happen is that the yes, the the spikes will be smoothed out. However, <laughs> you pay a price for that smoothing is because eventually all the energy will kind of start to drain out of those systems. Uh, and as you're doing that, the factory is getting bigger and bigger because you're building other things and doing stuff. So what is going to happen is that the um, your energy is just going to crash because at some point you'll be uh, using way too much and your accumulators will not be charging and you might even get into a death spiral of electricity. So that's, I really, really prefer to actually know when this is happening to my, uh, to my machinery to, oh, it's like, oh my God. Okay. We do need more electricity now. So let's do that. Anyway, let's get back to our, um, our builds here. I've gone back to the mall and got a few undergrounds and I'm trying to do that from the beginning of this build here so that we'll have at least some production coming in here. Um, I've looked up how many miners per belt we need. We need 77 miners per blue belt. That's how much we can handle. And I have forgotten to bring the miners, of course. <laughs> so we'll go back and get some. But anyway, that's that's kind of what we're shooting for here. Oh, we could we could bring this belt up there and get those guys uh, together. But I'm wondering if we should just combine these belts somehow or just let it go this way and maybe prefer. I don't, know if, I don't think we can actually prefer stuff with um, these guys unless we make them or we could make these active providers actually that's what we could do so anyway we will think about how we want to do this and connect these guys let's go ahead and go back to the mall and see if we can pick up a few more undergroundies and some more miners okay there we go this way hopefully not get run over whoa hello blue train i go way faster than the blue train yay all right um Let's get our undergroundies and we need our miners. Oh no. Oh, did they give them to me? They did. Yes. Okay. I've been really very carefully considering what, what we're doing here. Um, in terms of like, how do we want to supply this? How is that going to work? All this kind of things. So we've got 52 more of these. That's not a lot. I have increased the thing, but I think it's using them all making the, um, uh, the, the mini loaders. So we might have to get another array for this or something like that. Looks like this is still going. Still a working, working away. Okay. Wow. All right. That's fine. I put this in the wrong area, but it's okay. It's all right. Ran out of nanobots. There we go. Let's get the nanobots going. Okay. Let's go in the next area. Okay, cool. Um, we have a few precious undergrounds left. Yeah, and some areas still don't have them. Okay. 
But in this area, what we're going to do is just kind of ish get around 77, uh, but a little bit more than 77, not not uh, not just 77 to go and connect up to this thing. I want to see, let's see, how much is, actually we can put this here, we can have this be a, this, it's one underground, hooray, that has come back to us from the world, okay, that's fine. All right, let's connect these guys up. Looks like we have this area here, how many is this? That's 66. So we'll put these guys in one belt. Good. Now, the other thing is that we could do less than 77 because we actually have quite a lot of productivity research. If we look at our bonuses, it should be here somewhere. Yeah, mining productivity plus 30%. Um, so we're actually producing quite a bit more um, with, with that bonus. Let's see, is there any other research worth doing? Actually, it was quite nice to not deal with uh, research and all that kind of stuff. Uh, personal laser defense. Oh, that's so nice, but there's nothing to kill. So that's like kind of pointless to have that. Do we need the flamethrower? Probably not. I don't think we need any of these things except for, uh, I mean, we could research it anyway, just for funsies. So we'll do that one into one belt. Um, let's see this, the next belt. Let me just look from above. You know what? I need I need a radar. I need all kinds of stuff out here. I'm feeling very, very much quite like lost here with stuff. Oh no, I don't wanna I'm not gonna connect that. No, 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 no. You're not gonna get me to connect that. Nope, nope, nope. I I figured it out from the universe here. No no. Alright, this one. Let's count how many are here. That's going to be 57, right? That's not a lot, huh? Okay, it's close enough though. How many are here? 81, right? So any of these long lines are gonna be fine. What about these short ones? This one is 43. Okay, so I think these shorter ones, we're gonna just connect those guys together. Like here, I'm gonna say go this way. Same thing, oopsie, he's not there. And these guys, wow. Let's see what we got here. We have, this is 69 for those two together. Okay, that's fine, I guess. It's just the matter of how many belts we're adding here. How many are these? This is 46. Hmm. Kind of feel like, how much is this one here? That's only 60. Okay, so these actually could go into like here somehow. And of course I have no undergroundies, so this is not good. <laughs> oh no. Sadness is real. No undergroundies. Alright, how about this one? Go this way. Um, this one probably can connect up here with this. Good. Okay, so that will eliminate some of these belts, but otherwise we're going to really want to have um, them coming in. Oh, you know what? I could just, I could do something else here, I think. I think I want to do something else. Let's take these this way. Oh dear, that's not what I wanted. That's okay, get it anyway. This one goes here. All right, looking good. We've got these three lines 
now ish that one goes there this one goes there this one goes here so we have three coming up here cool all right i like this this is looking fairly good um i guess what we want to do is just bring them all the way up here i don't know how many belts we have let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we have 12 belts so i think we can make a little belt brush here three six nine and twelve and we'll get these three from there. And the longer we're out here building, the more undergroundies the factory will build for us. So I'm quite gratified by this. Okay, good. Now then, we have this one. Okay, good. There we are. We might even need some more belts from the factory at some point. Let's get this research done. All right, three left. That's it. Next one. Good, good, good. Nice, nice, nice. No, I'm short. Oh, no. Something has gone wrong here. I have miscalculated, looks like it. Um, <laughs> I have indeed. Okay, so that's okay. We're fine. Just do a little rearrangement and all will be well. We'll have a slight <coughs> hiccup here. <clears throat> It'll be fine though. It'll be really, really good. Uh, we won't have to even know there was a mistake here. There's no mistake at all. <laughs> Just a tiny squiggle. It'll be good. Oh my God. <laughs> so much for seamlessly fixing this, huh? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. That was funny though. I actually have 13 belts. Okay. Wow. And here we are. I wonder if I should take these off and just not go quite that close. I could have the whole array over here. That might actually be a good thing. Now, I do need to get quite a lot more belts. Let's go and find those things. Uh, do we have any in the train? Looks like we have some. We have some. Uh, but how do we want to arrange this? I'm thinking like if we have a belt here, we could put it into several uh, chests. So the idea would be, let's, where is our chests? Like if we have these passive providers, we would have a mini loader loading it. We need to go this way. I hope that's the right way. This things drive me nuts. Um, but anyway, it's okay. We'll take care of it. We can do this multiple times, like have three chests attached to each thing. Try to make this as compact as possible. Maybe four chests, I guess. Um, but can we I really need some undergroundies? Oh, I... Okay, let's go and get some. We'll just try to avoid the factory as we come back or put this on our nope we can just do that so that the nanobots don't automatically put them down okay get the next one it's fine 
I'm wondering if bullet damage is an infinite research. research. <laughs> Which would kind of annoy me. Quite a lot. Okay, we have 102 express belts. Um, this is good. This is very good. Do we need anything else? We have all of the passive providers that we need, I think. Uh, we can grab some more belts. That would be okay. Just take them all for the train, even. And I think that would be okay. Alright, let's go back and place these things down. Hopefully, properly. I want to design this thing first, though. Okay, here is our, our construction contraption thing. If we do an undergroundy, it will go... will only allow for two chests. Hmm. That's not ideal. Though, we could do a turn. Could do this, like that, and put the chest here. And that would make it a little bit more compact, but would also cover multiple lanes. So if we did this thing, let's see how this would work. Okay, that would do this. How far does this go? Let's see, that would go like that. Okay, so that would give us one, two, three, four. Four chests per lane? I think that's okay, actually. I think that's all right. Uh, and then this last one can be just a... like that. Okay, I think that this is a good solution, generally. Um, let's put the last one here. Oh, that doesn't work, though. Hold on, hold on. We have other issues put this there that one there and we need a third one because I have misaligned this whole thing we do need our uh, loaders so let's get our loaders we want to have them go this way snap that way are they actually going that way I don't know I hate this sprite oh god okay I'm gonna try not to complain about that anymore <laughs> It is just one of these, like, really vexing things. Uh, okay, so that is what we want, I think. And that's going to be eliminating one section each time. So let's see if we can blueprint this in a way that works for us. So this is every four this will happen. Okay, and then we will have, let us do this again, with these, so we won't need this one. I don't know. Hold on. It's hard to make tessellating thingy majingies. I think we just, yeah, we don't need the last um, set of undergrounds. That's what we don't need. This one here. Okay, let's try that. There we go. Okay, so this one's going to go here. There probably is an easier way to do this, but I'm just not aware of it right now. We're just kind of like chilling with this design. I kind of like it. It's not too bad. Oh, get rid of this. Ah, and we need to add power pulls as well. That is quite important. And then let's go ahead and delete this one. Okay, very nice. So these are all going, and then the last ones will be just the branch, like this. Good. Cool, so we have one, two, three. So we have 12, and then we have, um, I'm just gonna put this one over here maybe. Or should I put it up here? Nah, it's fine over here, I think. Just keep it fairly compact. Okay, there we go. It's, it's actually looking quite interesting. Uh, pretty cool. Pretty interesting. I want to 
Let's see, we can add some of these guys. Some. Just get these all organized. There we are. Very nice. Okay. So now we have the ability to fill all of these chests. So each belt will fill four chests. And that should be enough to get this smelter going, I hope. All right, let's go down and finish building this huge line of belts. All right, there we go. And I guess we just need to connect it up. This is kind of crazy. This is uh, this is very exciting. This is a startup. Well then, mm hmm. Right, we have, we've not completely gotten everything going, but we could start, I suppose. We could get things rolling, couldn't we? Um, I guess we'll just start the ore. Let's, let's start it up. Who cares if the trains are not done? <laughs> I don't care at the moment. I just want to start it. Let's go. I get so excited about these things. I don't know if you noticed. Um, I am quite excitable on these topics. Um, it's fun. These things are very fun for me these going okay so we do need a thing there oh 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 let's watch let's watch let's see this oh look at the patterns this is so cool oh there goes the bots there go the bots okay the bots are bringing it in they're loading it in it's going into the smelter zappity zap there we go hello Ooh. oh the plates are coming out the plates are going Oh, everything is here. This is so good. Life is good for the robots. All right, here. We need to probably add some more of these guys in here. Just add, uh, yeah, RoboPorts wherever we can. It's fine. Okay, they can't fit there, but we could use some more here. Let's take this one off. I don't think that that works that well there. Let's put it there instead. That way we can add more of these guys in here. Uh, ish. Uh, presuming that we actually had electricity over here. Somehow we lost it. Um, let's just put this here. We'll just connect it back up again. There we go. Okay, much better, much better. Okay, here it goes. Oh, look at all the plates happening. Oh my god. Is this green already? Hold on. Where's the thing? No, it's still red. Still red. He's only have 50. They're only requesting 50. Why are they only requesting 50? We decided for them to request 700. But these are only... Oh, they are getting some. Okay, they are getting some. It's just they are going to all of them. They're... Yeah. Okay. So the bots are delivering to all of them equally, essentially. So this will take a little while to charge up, it looks like it, as we get stuff done. Oh my goodness, this is so good, though. Oh. So what I should have done instead is put all the input lines on the left um, for this construction. Though, they're good on the downside because of the inputs from uh, the trains possibly coming in. Now, why are these? Oh, these are short because, hold on, let's just get rid of these. No, no, go away. Uh, we have, yeah, I forgot that we, we have some slight issues here. There we go. That one goes there. And these things, these copper bits go this way. Yeah, there we go. I forgot to connect some of these guys. Okay, this one can go all the way over here. There we go. Thank you very much. This one goes there. And you go there. And this is good. We just need to add a few power poles because I seem to have deleted some that were kind of necessary. Whoopsies. Okay, yeah, this one was also necessary. Not sure where they all went. Probably I deleted the one near the... No, they were... Those weren't on the very edge. I don't know. I don't know. It's fine, though. As long as we get it powered, it'll be good. All right. These are good. Uh, these are missing some undergroundies, I think. Okay. Let's give our nanobots something to do. Good. 
Just checking for any more. Ah, here we have some blockages because of lack of undergrounds. And I forgot the miners again. I didn't realize we had more miners missing. Oh my gosh. So many missing. This is actually looking really cool. <laughs> it's like such a zippery, crunchy thing. That's awesome. Okay. And of course, these are short because of the missing miners or they're just not full lines. But they should be because we have like 30% productivity. So... This is looking really good. Has the thing lit up yet? Not green yet. Okay. These things have, oh, they have like 216, 220. Okay. That's good. How much are these getting by the way? Are they shorter? No, they are getting the same amount. This is really good. So they are, I was kind of thinking like, oh, you know, if these have their queue time, they're so much closer that maybe they'll get more stuff. Um, but they're not, they are actually getting the same amount of product. This is great. Okay. I want to, we'll just, oh, it is infinite research. Gosh, darn it. Uh, I was hoping not to have infinite research landmines. Why not? We'll just, I just kind of want to take some of the items off that screen. Um, but yeah, we say how that went. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, you know, we could shove those to the left there yeah some of these are already well no they're not full i wonder if i should have made these priority to go to the first one is this full yeah it is full some of them are actually full wow i think we need more robots that's definitely something we need but look at how this is processing so well wow and these how are these doing are these filling up no they're not wow we actually have, well, these guys are, these ones at the top are really filling up because the robots are going for the closest. Let's see, combat robotics. This is a long chain that ends with infinite. Yep. Rocket damage, again, infinite. Grenade damage, infinite. Military three. Opens up all kinds of stuff I don't care about looking at. Lots of infinite researches. Energy shields. Yeah, we can get this. That's fine. That'll take it off the uh, the screen there. This is looking really good. We just need more. Uh, we need more robots here. Definitely. Now then we have this situation here. And we want to uh, create a parking lot. So let's just do that. Let's go look at our blueprints for parking lots. In the trains, rails, thingamajig. This looks pretty good. Do we need more than that? I don't think so. But will we fit it? No, we will not. <sighs> we need something that fits better over here. Um, these could potentially be moved to the left slightly, those lines. Uh, and I'm actually thinking about doing that. That seems pretty sensible. Or I could do it this way, even. Let's just take off the bits that are not needed. These areas there. Okay, good. All right, there we go. Oh dear. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Thingy majingy. Do not. Okay, this is actually a good spot to let these guys drain out from those lines. So let's just let that happen. Take some more from there. Take more from there as well. Just get rid of these guys. There we go. Looking good. Just so I don't end up with a ton of copper in my inventory. I have some, but um, that's okay. Let's take this. Good. Okay. Now we have more room here as well. I think we'll also do this with this here. Be 
because it will save us some space with the train stuff. And that's going to be fairly important, I think. I hope. If not, that's okay, too. Lots of copper in the inventory. No. Oh. All right. We're going to dump this copper into one of the chests. All right. Is there anything else we can get rid of? I don't think so. I, I think we're, we're kind of okay. All right. Let's go up here with the belts. And now we want to find... Here's a requester chests. Yes. Oh, nice. Wow. They took it all off me anyway. And they're recycling it. Yay. <laughs> this is good. All right. Let's look at our train station uh, parking again. This will not fit here. I think we need maybe the other one. Let's do that. Let's get the other one that will connect to a right angle blueprint there. Okay. And we will get our, let's go B. Now that, oh, that could be, nope, that also wouldn't work. That would not work. Okay. We need to reverse this one. Yes. Okay. Make sure you put the chain signals to the front so that the train can choose where it wants to go to choose which station. Always remember that. Uh, I will also put some, I don't think we need, I don't think we need uh, chain signals here. I guess we can actually though, get the chain signals here. Let me find them. There they are. Um, to kind of break up this area. Or should I? No, we need them here. We just need them there. All right. Let us figure out how we're going to combine these things for our trains to go out. We also need them to go in. I also need some more nanobots. Okay, let's get those going. Yeah, we have plenty of room here. That's a good sign. We can get our... Ah, let's get rid of this as well. Oh, out of nanobots. No. It's okay. We'll take them all. I'm glad I put some on the train though. That was useful. Let's see. How do we want to come out? How do we want to go in? I think I might even add more parking spots to this area. Let's see if we can do that. Just kind of grip it on like this. There we are. Come on. Oh no, no train tracks. Let's go get train tracks. I kind of feel like I should move the train. I need to move the train. Let's just move it downward. And while I'm moving it downward, I can get the train tracks, which is good. Oops. Okay. Sorry, teacup. Actually, we'll move it all the way down so that we can turn the train around. That will be useful to be able to do. All right. And then we need our rails in and out blueprints. Rails straight, T-junction, rails out, and rails in. Okay, let's take off this chain signal and just grab this thing to go there. Nice. And rails in. This is where the trains come in to the station. And we have a problem with the power pole and that too. Okay. Very nice. Uh, we might want to replace the lamp. I'll put that down just because it is nice to have light around here. Now, do we have coverage with radar? Not all the way. Definitely want to get this going at the lower end of this patch here, like here maybe. Okay. And then a little bit up there we need to coverage wise. Okay, I'll just put it here because it seems like an okay place. Is it weird? No, it's okay. It's actually fine over there. All right, we have our parking spot. We have an entry into the parking. Yay, this is very exciting. Um, now then, I think I want to have it enter somewhere around here. I think we can just extend this one track that way. And then let's see our rails in or our rails out because we're going out of this station. Okay, good. All right. Now we have an interesting issue here. 
of, is this going to be too long? We don't want to have the same kind of problem as we did before. I don't think it'll be an issue though, because this is all very much having chain signals. We could take off this one and then if people, if the trains want to go that way, oh, I, wow, this is kind of interesting. That's fine though. Okay. Let's just look at this. I think we should be fine because this is a one way out. This is not like two T junctions next to each other. So I think what we'll do with this is just add, um, our, these guys. Ooh. That doesn't quite work, does it? All right, that's fine. Let's just go this way and that way. Okay. And there we go. That's what we want, I think. So we'll get the 90 degree curve here. That one. There we go. Okay. I think that should work and we will extend. Oh, this one does not have a signal in front of the station. Just make sure they all have signals. That's good. And now this is one entire block, which is not ideal. So we're going to make sure that we make these blocks a little bit shorter and just break this up a little bit. So it's a little bit faster for the trains to get through. Okay. And then this is one length. I'll just add another one just to go a little bit faster there through the gates and we have it done. Wow. So now we have, do we have enough in here? 702. It's still red. Why are we not getting anything? We have three green squares, right? Which one is not green? I wonder. That one's 844. This is 8.4, 8.4, 8.4. We should have four green squares. Why is this not? Oh, because I forgot to set this combinator. There we go. Okay. It is now green. Trains can come in here. Did I do the same here? Probably. There it is. Okay. That one is good. And this one should also, this one should be green actually. Are these getting the, let's just make sure that this thing is getting the signal. Oh no, wait, wait, go back. No. Okay. We're not getting any squares. So if we're go, wait, okay. If we're less than four, no, hold on. These guys are. If it's less than 52 K, then it can come in. So these are sending for some reason. It's not showing. Is it, do I need to do everything each? No, uh, all the things, everything. Ah, there we go. We can do an everything because I think with, um, anything, it's not showing anything. So. Let's see. Ah, that makes it green. Okay. So we have to change the signals for these guys. We may have to change it if there's a little bit in there. I don't know. We'll have to see. But um, anyway, this works for now to where we can get copper ore coming in from the universe, maybe here, who knows? So um, that's all we have time for in this episode. Thank you so very much for joining me. I hope this is an, an interesting project for you guys to watch. I'm enjoying it immensely. I like designing new things and figuring them out and getting things to work. I am aware of these blinking robo ports, but we'll, we'll deal with that in the next episode. So thank you again for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.